What's up guys, welcome back. So today's video is a really exciting one. Probably my coolest collab that I've ever done. This video is actually sponsored by The Sims, <laughs> which I feel insane even saying. I can't even put it into words. Literally the coolest thing that I have ever done. Um, but it's in celebration of their wedding pack that just came out, Wedding Stories. It's a new game pack. Um, and basically it is like a whole new twist on getting married in The Sims. Before you couldn't really get married. You were just like, you didn't have a ceremony or like a reception or anything like that. It was just kind of like it was done. And that was it. You could propose and you could like elope and get married and stuff, but you couldn't really have a reception or a ceremony. You couldn't really do like the whole like traditional wedding style of things. But in this one, you can have like a bachelorette and a bachelor party. You can have like an engagement party. You can renew your vows. You can have the actual ceremony and stuff. Um, so it's actually really, really cool. There's like little aisles and there's a whole bunch of like new creator sim content, which personally my favorite is like the creator sim content and then the build content. I really love just like creating sims and then building their homes. The gameplay is also really cool because you can get married and stuff, but building and like create a sim is always my favorite. I'm gonna leave a link down below to Origin if you guys wanna download the game pack and check it out. Definitely recommend it because I think it's really, really fun. Um, but today I just wanted to create a little kind of like wedding styling for you guys. I feel like nobody really talks about like getting yourself ready on your wedding day. Um, and if you guys didn't know, I am actually engaged. I feel so weird even flashing this. Um, I did mention it really quickly in one of my last videos, but I haven't mentioned it like properly. Like I haven't done a proper announcement video or anything like that. I'm engaged, I'm an engaged woman. We're not sure if we wanna have like a full wedding. We wanna do something small, something big, or if we wanna elope. We're kind of just like seeing what happens at the moment. So this video is kind of, Kind of along the lines of that, this is something that I would wear if I was going to do my hair, my makeup and like style my look myself for my wedding, hens, whatever. Whatever you name it, whatever you want to use this for, um, like wedding themed, that is what it is for. Huge thank you to Sims for partnering with me. I literally don't feel cool enough to be doing this collab, but hopefully you guys like the hair. Um, and the dress and everything, but we're just gonna get stuck straight into the hair tutorial part I'm gonna leave timestamps down below because I feel like you might only want to see like some parts of the video So I'll leave some timestamps because I got you go check out my Instagram It's just Casey written the same as my YouTube. I also have TikTok now again. It's just my name um, And yeah, let's get stuck into the video. I feel like you guys are gonna see my little slash belly <laughs> time so when I do my hair with my Dyson I like to start with wet hair I mean that's typically how I style my hair when I'm doing it most days I need a mirror and I'm gonna be doing a middle part part your hair however you want it but I'm basically just starting out with kind of like wet to damp hair look how long my hair has gotten like this is no extensions this is just all my own hair I'm very proud of myself I am gonna use extensions though which they look like a lot different to my hair I just haven't had my blonde done in a really long time they surprisingly blend really well so I mean like not, not super well but like once everything's done it's fine so the first two things that I like to pop in my hair when I'm going to style it are my Olaplex number no. six bond smoother and my Olaplex number no. seven bonding oil I'm sorry if I'm talking a little bit quiet I'm gonna try my best to like fix the audio on this video it's just we literally just moved house like two days ago I think it was now we are like on a really really busy highway and so it's like really noisy so i'm really hoping my mic doesn't pick it up i need to sort out my filming room i haven't done it yet because we just moved and hamish my partner is also on night shift at the moment so he's trying to sleep and today was the day that i had to film this video i just take a little bit of the number six bond smoother probably don't even need that much like it's just like a little bit so nice makes your hair feel really smooth i don't know soft hydrated just like really conditioned and nice and then if i can get this open i'm going to take a little bit of the bonding oil i thought i needed to buy a new one i must have bought a new one already for some reason i thought i was running low i take a few drops of this as well oh that's probably about much just fine and i mix them together because you're allowed to do that the oil is more for like heat protection which i really love because i'm not really a big fan of like Heat protectant sprays i haven't found one that i really like so if you guys can recommend any that would be amazing um because i just don't know any other than like the ones that you get at like priceline and i don't really like those brands very much focus that through like the ends of my hair not too much through the top i don't want to make my scalp any more oily than it already gets i have really oily hair 
and my hair is really fine and thin so it just it gets oily like the next day it's really annoying Did someone just have a car crash <laughs> God. Did I just witness a crown with my ears? This one is the New Day Mist. It's a three-in-one style refresh. It smooths, creases, and restores. It doesn't crease. It smooths, creases, and restores style. So this is kind of like if you don't want to wash your hair and it gets kind of like a cowlick or a kink, you can spray it in those areas and it just kind of helps mold it out and style it without heat styling. If that makes sense. I just like to use this in the front and in the back where I get cowlicks and my hair just doesn't hold properly. Typically I use that on like my dry hair when I need to like restyle it and fix it up throughout the week. I'm going to use my round brush. Actually no, that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to dry off my hair just a teeny bit. I literally love this. I bought this maybe three years ago now. Sold my firstborn child to buy this. No regrets. I would sell another child to buy another one. Hallelujah. Love it. Amen. Hair dryer attachment. I'm going to use it on just like the second heat setting. We'll go second speed setting. And I'm just going to like blast my hair a little bit just to get like a little bit of the dampness out before we go into skidding. I'm going to focus on more like the roots. So I'm going to change over the attachment now and I'm going to change it to one of the brush ones. Honestly, I don't really know like what the difference is between the two brush heads. There's one that has like little pink bubblies on the end of it and this one doesn't. I don't, I know they're for smoothing but I don't know, I just use them interchangeably. I'm just going to smooth like the top sections of my hair. I'm honestly just doing this really quickly, like I didn't take out too much of the dampness and the wetness when I was blow drying. So I've kind of like smoothed the top of it as you guys can see. It's not like super smooth, not like if you're going to straighten your hair. I don't know what my hands are doing today. They're like, what is up with me? I'm a little bit nervous to film because I haven't filmed in a little while. Just had a lot going on. I'm yet again changing to another attachment. My favorite one. Oh, it's covered in all my hair. Um, and I'm just gonna like kind of smooth out the roots a little bit. I like that brush attachment because you can kind of get a little bit more body like at the roots. I don't know if you can see where my little koala is right here, but I just feel like it just helps to get like my hair off the scalp and kind of like lift it and give it a bit more volume. You can totally just do this with a regular blow dryer as well, or you like don't have to do this if you just like how your hair regularly dries and you can like do the style we're gonna do with just like a regular curler. I just really like using my Dyson. It's my favorite way to curl my hair. It's just the easiest. I'm gonna do my little front pieces. They're kind of like bangs, but like kind of not. Initially, it was just broken hair because I had like, if you saw like a few videos back, I had like really blonde hair basically, and we did like the really thick money pieces, which I'm hoping to go back really, really blonde soon. My like front area is just really, really irritating. So I just wanna get that out of the way and I'm gonna pin it in like a little roller. Where's my big rollers? Oh, it's over there. Oh my god. I have makeup all over my shirt. <laughs> I got these rollers like a couple of weeks ago from Kmart. So cheap. Shout out Kmart. Like if you blow dry your hair with the Dyson and then roll them up in these. Chef's Kiss, they're amazing. If you guys want a tutorial on that, I can definitely do one because I did one for uh, Instagram. If you want to go over there, it's just Casey Brayton, the same as my YouTube. But yeah, I can totally do a more in-depth one. Try and roll up these front bits. You guys can see like all the little broken hairs that I've got here. Some of it's baby hair, some of it's broken hair. I'm going to let it sit kind of on my forehead because I don't really want too much lift and I'm going to pin it. 
Um, but yeah, like I was saying before, I totally forgot. I ended up just trimming some of the hairs and now sometimes I wear it as like a little fringe. These rollers are meant to like stay, like hold your hair themselves, but they don't. <laughs> I'm gonna move on to actually curling my hair now. Now that I've finished all the prep work. Honestly, the prep is the most important part. I could have done more prep, I could have done better prep. I prepped, that's all that matters. Section my hair off where I wanna put my extensions in because I'm actually gonna put them in while I curl my hair, I just feel like they sit better and kind of like more naturally and blends into the hair. I only use three clips, like three extension wefts. I use one three clip right at the back and then I use two on the sides. That's all my hair really needs because it is so thin. So right before I style them, I like to spray another product. This is the Playa Endless Summer Spray. I think Playa is how you say it. It's written like Playa. Like the player hater, but I'm pretty sure it's player. Like I've seen other people say that. It's like a um, beach like salt spray, but it's like one of the most minimal salt sprays that I've ever used. It doesn't make your hair like really crunchy or like dry or anything. And I find it just like helps like hold my curls. Cause I don't have any hairspray or anything at the moment, which is, I need to find one that I like. I just had like a Schwarzkopf one and it was really shit, but I was just using it up and I have finally used it up and now I have nothing. So I'm gonna ignore like these little front bits. I kind of like to do them separate. The smaller the section, I feel like the better they turn out. Obviously you can do bigger ones though. And I'm using the smaller attachments. I like to use this on the hottest heat setting and the highest just because it makes it so much quicker. So I'm gonna be curling away from my face as well. The attachments have like little arrows on them. I'm just gonna change the um, attachment head. This one's so much harder to get in because when you chewed it. And now I'm gonna do this side. So it's important to change it to make sure the curls are going away from your face. It just looks so much more flattering. You guys hear um, little noises in the background, Hamish and the dogs are awake from their naps. I took out my, my little hair roller thing and just like blue dry, blue dry, blow dried down my fringe a little bit. I ended up curling my extensions off camera as well just because they were a little bit damp and I just wanted to speed up the process and I was waiting for my battery to charge because it died. So did a little bit of that. I'm gonna pop them in my hair in a second and I'll just end up reforming the curls if they don't blend too well. But I'll show you guys how I'm gonna do the front pieces. I'm just gonna change back to the brush attachment and give them a little once through. Just to kind of reset them after I had them sitting out for a little while. And then I'm gonna do just a little bit of a curl on each side. So I kind of like to go from underneath, like I hold it like this, cause I don't want them flipping back like that, if that makes sense. Before I go in and pop my extensions in my hair, I'm just gonna put a bit of dry shampoo in the top of it. I just feel like this gives it a little bit more like volume and just kind of gets rid of any oil before it comes through. I always like to do this like on the days where I've washed my hair and then I style it. And I feel like it also helps hold the style because it adds like just a bit of like texture and grit into your hair, which is why I like it before the extensions because I feel like they can grip into it a little bit better. You can see already just how much like fluffier the dry shampoo makes it. Also, this one is from Batiste. It's just their, um, like the brunette one. I know they look super crazy in comparison to my hair because it's like just not the same blonde right now. But surprisingly, I make them work and they blend okay once like all my hair is done. Like you can definitely see that they're blonder, but like it's really not that bad like I kind, of, I kind of like it finished all the curls this is like the base style done i feel like it's such a long process it's not if your hair is already dry but because i'm going from like wet to curled it just it is but if i was actually getting ready for 
my wedding day, I would take, I would take this amount of time and I would want, I would want to take a process, you know, I'd want my me time, relaxation. So now because I don't have hairspray, what I'm going to go in with is my Way um, matte pomade. I really, really like this stuff. As you can see, it is like nearly empty. I use it all the time. This is what I use to like slick down my hair when I do a really slick back bun or ponytail or anything like that. If I have flyaways, if my fringe is annoying me, like this little hair on my face is annoying me. I take like this much and it's so good for getting rid of like frizz, kind of like creating like a bit of texture. So I'm just gonna kind of take the the wave parts of each curls and just kind of twist them back and forth between my fingers. And it just creates like this kind of PC sort of texture. I also like to put a little bit of it on my flyaways. You see that? Like it just smooths them down so much. I try not to put too much in the root area because it can get like a little bit heavy if you have fine hair like me. I'm just kind of scrunching the hair as well. Now I'm going to give a little brush through. Even if you just wanted to like have the curls like this, you know what I mean? Instead of like textured. That pomade looks so nice when you brush it out. I like to brush my curls out. Obviously you don't have to. If you want them to be like a little bit more curled, just don't brush them out and they'll hold a lot better. Sorry about Watson, he is not happy with the papers right now. So that is what the hair is looking like. So pretty, I love it so much. Watson, please. I'm gonna take just some bobby pins and do a little half up, half down. I have this cute as little bow. I wanna leave a little bit of like something out the front. Just kind of loosely pull it back. there. I'm gonna do that. Actually hides the extensions perfectly as well. And then loosen these pieces up so they look like a little bit more lived in. One of my favourite tricks is to like tease with your fingers like the curly bits and it just gives them like so much volume. And then typically after I do that I would like hairspray them and it makes them sit so nicely. Oh my god look at that volume. Now I'm gonna add the bow in. I picked this up from La Visa. Really cute, it's just got the little thing on the back. But I saw this and I just thought it was so cute for like doing bridal hair and stuff like that. Of course I have my wedding coming up, so maybe I'll wear it for that, I don't know, but I just think it's adorable and I wanted it. So I'm just gonna pop that over top of the bobby pins. I hope that looks okay, I need to see. Oh my God, it looks adorable. That turned out so nice, how cute is that? Oh my god, you guys, we did it. We got there in the end. That is the hair. I literally love this. So I'm gonna go and pop on my dress and I will show you guys like the entire fit. So this is the dress, guys. This is from the Iconic. This is from their label, A-E-R-E. -E. I don't know if it's pronounced like that, like the letters, or if it's like air or r i'm really not sure it's from that label i'm gonna leave it linked down below for you guys i'll show you the back it has a really pretty like crisscross kind of detail and it's so nice i can't remember exactly what size i am maybe a six or an eight but i'll leave it below for you guys sorry i can't show you full length i'm a little bit limited right now just because of our move but i got some shoes on as well these are from bellini if i can find them online i will link them for you guys but I just thought that they were the perfect bridal shoes. They're actually my wedding shoes for my friend Erin's wedding. So I'm one of her bridesmaids. I love like how peasant and like cottagey it is. And I just think it's really flowy and easy. And honestly, this is the first thing I thought of when I got this. Is that how perfect it was for like a wedding or like some kind of bridal celebration. Yeah, this is the finished look. This is something that I would totally wear if I was doing like a DIY wedding or elopement or something like that. So, Oh my god, I feel like a, a woodland princess. Anyway guys, that is the final look. Really hope that you enjoyed this video and hopefully it gave you some inspo if you have a wedding coming up or if you have any bridal celebrations or anything like that. And I will see you guys in my next one.